The following presentation is a typical hinge belt installation process. With the belt assembly placed in front of the conveyor discharge, begin by feeding the belt onto the lower rail, master shaft first, continuing to feed the belt in short increments. When the belt meets the tail section, you will need to work the edge of the belt around the two rail knobs. Once the belt has extended past the rail knobs 15 to 18 inches, continue indexing the belt from the rear tail section using your legs as leverage. Larger belt widths will require additional personnel to assist in the belt indexing. Continue this method until the leading end of the belt meets back up at the discharge section. With the two belt ends accessible, install the two take-up bearings. Then the drive shaft through the take-up bearings with the belt sprockets pre-installed. Position the drive shaft opposite of the motor end flush with the take-up bearing outer race. Then tighten the two set screws to the shaft. Tighten the set screws to the remaining take up bearing. Position the two quarter by quarter keystock sections into the drive shaft keyways and pre-locate the two belt sprockets. Then slide the whole assembly forward, holding it in place with a rod or tubing. Set the position of the left hand sprocket measuring 22.5 millimeters from the inside frame surface the near face of the sprocket. Then tighten the set screws. Manually take the upper belt section and place the belt chain into two or three teeth of both sprockets. This will position the right hand sprocket on the shaft. Bring the lower belt section up to meet the upper section and hold in place while removing the master shaft. Join the two belt sections and reinsert the master shaft halfway through the belt enough to tighten the set screws on the right hand belt sprocket. Slide the master shaft further, positioning it through the corresponding side wings, inner link, chain roller assembly, and outer link. Continue sliding the shaft two or three inches, then feed the shaft back the opposite direction to connect the remaining side wings, 
inner and outer links, and roller assembly. Now place over each end of the master shaft a M8 washer and cotter pin. Install the motor drive, chain, and torque limiter or direct drive assembly if used. Connect the power source and test run the conveyor.